dumb I'm losing control but I can't let it go Cause I'm trying to get more and I've been in the moment hey guys, welcome back to my channel This is Trap Talk Tuesday This won't be very common This is just like a one time thing video You guys have asked a lot of questions And I'm gonna try to answer all of them But you guys have like asked a lot And I didn't even get all of them yet so we're just gonna go down the line and ask questions and whoever feels like they want to answer that question they will answer it um someone said why does kentucky have the best looking track and field team in the ncaa sure. well i mean, <laughs> I mean dang. Go, you not first. <laughs> someone said are you guys competing at the clemson invite okay no we're going to the clemson invitational and we're going to the tiger ball Okay. Yeah, the tiger palm meat. Yeah, Chloe knows so, that. Yeah. Yeah. So someone said, what are your workout days? What's Monday? Mondays are death days. Yeah. Like super hard. Hard, always. Hard. Even if we have a meet that week, Bro, hard. It's gonna be hard. Like always. But that's like most likely anywhere you go. Yeah. Like most people usually die on Mondays. If you're good, you're working hard on Mondays. Yeah. And then on Tuesdays is like tempo. Mm -hmm. Wednesdays like recovery. Recovery. Thursdays. Thursdays. Thursdays, th I don't like. I be getting confused because sometimes we have hurdles on Thursdays, and then sometimes yeah. he like we have like a speed, but like still kind of hard. Normally, yeah. Normally Thursdays will be hard, and then Fridays are like sprint. But sprint, but still kind of hard. Yeah. Like our group, we're long sprinters, so like Ooh, our workouts are always hard. They're always. Mm. <laughs> You're annoying. <laughs> do, He's a do we the sprinter? So like, what are your workouts like? Our workouts is switches off. Um, sometimes it's Monday, Monday, um, Thursday we do hard workouts. Sometimes it's Tuesday, Friday we do hard workouts. But then Wednesday, it's always our like active recovery. Like we could just do like a shake out, or yeah. to, like yoga, or just treatment and, and, and all the yeah. things. We do get yoga. Yeah, the, that's the thing. <laughs> Kentucky provides free yoga for the team. Yeah, free massages. Yeah, free kind Yeah, of that's workout. the next question. Actually, someone said, "How often does junior team receive massage therapy?" Sometimes it's once a week. You get a massage or a chiropractor, but sometimes you might get skipped. Every so like, other week. Yeah. Like, if you miss it, like, purposely, then, right, like, yeah. not purposely, but, like, by accident, like, you'll if get, you like, it, yeah. yeah, because, like, Chloe has an exception because, like, she has theater, so then they, like, get her right in the training room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but I usually have massages on Monday and then chiropractor on Tuesday. Yeah, and that happens, like, every other week. Yeah, probably. and then you'll go on Wednesday, so mm -hmm. we always get right. Someone said, how many times a day do y'all practice and how often does your team compete at meets? We practice yeah. every day, every basically. Day. We practice twice a day on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays because we do weights in the morning and we have practice in the afternoon. But then Tuesdays and Thursdays, we just have running practice. Yeah. And meets, during season, we go every week. Every weekend, we go to That's college. Meet. Yeah. <laughs> There's probably like one or two weeks out of the months from like January to March where we have like maybe one week off and then outdoor outdoor we normally compete a little less but the meets are more intense. Oh, for real? Yeah, it's like indoors is so condensed so it's like yeah. you have a meet every week but like outdoor you be running you'll have like a week like a week off sometimes and then like nationals there's no like two weeks in between like regionals and nationals. Yeah. Someone said <laughs> What is the process of committing? Who wants to answer that? It depends on who you are. If you I want mean, to commit early. Oh yeah, ahead. that's the thing. Committing early and late. Yeah. But like, aren't there different rules now that you can commit? Like, you can commit and sign whenever you want now. Well, I think Honestly. they're still signing like periods. Yeah, I don't For really know anymore. Because the the people compliance? are signing after. Because they they're always changing it though. Yeah. It's changed, yeah. I don't know. I know. Yeah, well, like, the first game. thing is you run fast, you run a good time, and junior then the coach. Year. Do we your junior year? It, it doesn't have to be junior. It can exactly. be senior year, yeah. too. Like, if a perfect world, you run great junior year. And, and then you get all the offers you want. All and the then, offers. And then you go on all the visits in yeah. the beginning of the school year, and then you commit in November. That's commit, the perfect yeah. world. And then you're already set for your whole yeah. senior year. You, you don't know, even have to run. It's like, no. Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. 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 Yeah. <laughs> but now it's changed. People be fine to school, like, last minute and still be popping. Yeah. Some so. people are signing real early. It just yeah. depends on who you are. Yeah, it just depends, so run fast and commit early and then like maybe it's if it's not your time to run fast and compete like don't ever give up because mm -hmm. senior year yeah some over. people still have money left over and then you may have that one spot and then yeah. get lucky but reach out don't yeah. just wait for yeah don't wait for the coaches that's a good thing like people always think that like the coach is supposed to hit you up like they want sometimes like i was talking to <laughs> yeah like i was talking to like a coach 
and it was like, yeah, like we literally recruit like the whole entire country, people in the Caribbean, people like like in yeah. Europe and all them places. So like the coaches, even if you're running a really fast time, sometimes they might not notice you. Mm -hmm. So reaching out to them can be um, very, be very beneficial to I'm your dead. success. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone said, what is the atmosphere of the team like? It's cool. It's actually a lot. It's, you see all snaps, bro. Yeah, it's cool. It's, there's yeah, really if you follow me on snap. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's not like stressful, I don't think. Definitely chill compared to other teams. Dude, compared other teams. to yeah, definitely especially like me coming from a different team, it's way better. The Where did you come from? I came from Purdue. <laughs> but I mean, like the school. <laughs> uh -uh! <laughs> <laughs> the school is cool. No, no question about it. But like, a lot of people at Purdue just like it's hard to mix with everybody, and a lot of people are like headstrong. They don't like to. They think they're always right. So it's really hard to agree and like be cool with everybody. But, like here, everyone's kind of just chill. Like nobody really has any beef with anybody yeah. like that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. no, like on some real stuff, like the team, like me as a freshman coming into a team, like out of all my visits, I really love Kentucky. Like the most was the most family oriented. Even mm -hmm. though I didn't come on a visit here, everyone was so cool opening mm -hmm. to me like even though i wasn't planning on going here at first like yeah everyone's just so accepting <laughs> <laughs> everyone's just so accepting yeah. and i love all of them like all of them have grown on me so much over these past like couple months you know, like i feel like every team every, every team family has their, has their issues but like yeah. at the end of the day we're we, like even though we just all met each other we're always going to be we there come for together each other. When we need yeah to. someone yeah. said do y'all think you guys are going to be better than you were last year Duh. what do you think She's gonna say no. I'm asking bruh. Avery. She's being Avery. Couch a, yeah, <laughs> Avery, come in the video, bro. Right, come on. A okay, so Avery's our manager, and she was here last Aww. year. Her. <laughs> what do you think? I know you're uncomfortable. No, she's gonna say that we're not gonna be as good as we were last year. Watch. Right? I think we're gonna be good. I feel like we have a lot of growth to do. We're a very young team. Yeah. Young. And, but, like, we know what we're doing. Like, yeah. we, we'll get better as season progresses. I mean, like, the, the question is basically saying, like, what's it like to be around people? Like, Olympians that were in your same shoes and how's it feel to be, like, where they were, like, now? I mean, I think it shows where I can progress to be. And, um, yeah, like, could you be said, it's a great motivation and just trying to get there. What's your favorite thing about Kentucky? The free, the free food in the kitchen. We get a oh my gosh, Chloe loves the lab. kitchen. Yeah, Chloe loves the nutrition lab. The nutrition lab is, let me give y'all, let me tell y'all, this kitchen is bomb. Nobody else in the SEC, no school has this. The kitchen is a free grocery haven. It's like, for real, there's grocery, there's fresh fruits, vegetables, frozen fruits. You can do chicken, shrimp, uh, steak, salmon, you can do all kinds of meat. You can have a rice, they got the rice, they got the rice. Yeah. Two smoothies. I can go on for days about my, that's my boyfriend. Huh? She loves the kitchen, clearly. I make these really good smoothie bowls. But if you can't cook, stay out. Um, uh -uh, no, they, they <laughs> teach real. you. No, they can, if you guys actually don't know how to cook, they will teach you how to cook. And they will. I've seen people burn eggs before. <laughs> Hey, that's the best thing for me. That and yeah, that's it. Um, it's a nice also, city. yeah, I mean, yeah, like people think of Kentucky, they like, is it just like in the middle of nowhere? Like it's actually like somewhat a lot to do around here. They have like this thing called Malibu Jacks, like a indoor arcade, go-karting, stuff like that. And then the team atmosphere I love in the city, it's like a little something got Urban Outfitters and some good restaurants. Yeah. So Kentucky is Low key lit. It's, it's like it slept on a little bit. Yeah. But it's cool. And a lot of famous people live here. I never knew that. Like, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to be next. Oh my god. <laughs> but I'm oh, sorry. What is that? Those are all. Okay, so someone asked Is it cool being around Olympians? We don't really be around yeah. Olympians. I mean, like. Avery yeah. was last Avery, year. Yeah, Avery, B, Avery was around them the most last year. Yeah, because I think all the pros that were here last year, they went down to Texas and you all went to Texas, right? Most of them went oh to Texas so, and then Sydney went to LA. I don't well, think she, they have oh, changed personalities. Like they still normal. They're people. normal. Yeah, it's like when you us. talk to people and like anybody that's like has clout or fame, it's like they're normal. They're cool. It's just like they just are great at what they do. Right. <laughs> like, they're normal. What hundred meter hurdle 
or and 300 meter hurdle times would um it take to earn a scholarship from uk um i would say hurdle times i would say we 300, I know that because, like, I ran 300 <coughs> hurdles in, in high school. I mean, like, I ran 40.1, and that was, like, a number That's four. very good. Yeah, that was number four all the time in, like, high school history. I'm over here, like, telling my Oh, stats. you better be, <laughs> like. So, yeah, I would just say 13, 5 and lower, possibly, and then 41 and lower. Mm -hmm. That's the standard, I would say, for SEC school. So, the transition of coaches from Flo to whoever your hurdle coach is now. And none of us. Coach Green, Coach Rolando Green. <laughs> you, uh uh, the manager didn't even know the coach. Rolando name. Green. Lonnie Green. That's a good. Yeah. That's a he, He's amazing. How you gonna answer that? I, because yeah. I, she don't even know Flo. I, okay, yeah. I know Flo. I don't know him, but I know that Coach Green <laughs> has done an amazing job taking over a hurdle Absolutely. school. And. He is just amazing. Like, don't sleep on Lonnie Green. He really gets us ready. <laughs> right. I mean, I really can't answer for the coach flow part, but, like, since I've been here and working with Coach um, Green in hurdles, I mean, like, he's always, like, been a very good hurdle coach to me, like, with hurdles and, like, on the flat. So, like, he does Open really good with, like, yeah, the longer and the short hurdles mm -hmm. on that aspect. So, I would say that he's really good when facing. <laughs> um, someone said, what made you choose Kentucky? What made you choose? I didn't really choose it. <laughs> oh my! It gosh. chose me. Honestly, same. I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. I think Doobie's the only one who really chose. I Kentucky chose Kentucky here. because had a great visit with me. I had a great visit. Up, people here. No, he had the best the people visit. here welcome me like family, so I definitely like you want to be like around people that actually mess with you. Yeah. <laughs> I came for Flo, but I mean he left, but it worked out for the better because we got Coach Hall now. But yeah. For the record, we tried to recruit a side. <laughs> yeah, she did come on a visit here. No, I did no, not. I never never came on a visit. <laughs> her and her coaches never got back to us. So. I'm weak. Ain't no, no, because no, every time she remember sending the me the record, sending please. me the the mail, I really but I was like, yeah, I heard certain things, but you, I should never listen to what I heard. But like I said, it worked out for the better. I was yeah. going to Tennessee with Coach Hall, and Coach Hall came here, so. Yeah. Now, now we are here. Yeah, I just came because Coach Green is here. <laughs> Coach, Green, Coach Green's my favorite coach ever. I love Coach Green. Yeah, it's Coach Green. Like, yeah. if you meet him, like, he's the coolest person I'll ever meet. Um, someone said, why did Flo leave? Well, he, um, Money he got a, a better opportunity. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Coach control. Flo likes warm weather. So yeah. He's from Haiti. Someone said, do you talk to City McLaughlin? Oh my oh gosh. My gosh. Like, I'm sexing her right now. <laughs> um, you want to see a picture? Oh my gosh. <laughs> she could be on the video. Great pics then. Uh uh. So I'm yeah, sorry. Avery's really close with her, but her, that's like her best friend. But other than that, we just follow her and just talk really minimal. Like, we're not like <laughs> texting and stuff every day. Sorry. Chloe, yeah, she's a normal person, just like anybody else. Oh, Chloe! Chloe! No, fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Alright, so we are oh. back. <laughs> Here we go. My bad. I did not mean to do that. What happened? She hit me. Edges, y'all. Edges. Keep that in mind. Edges. So we are back with another teammate. Her name is Z. I didn't introduce my friends in the last section of the video, but... Yeah, so we're just gonna continue to answer more questions and yeah. Okay. So the first question is, what's y'all schedule like? Next semester, I got a good schedule. I ain't got no classes Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. You don't got no classes? No, I got online classes and only classes on Tuesday and Thursday. So my schedule is looking great next semester. My next semester class, I mean, my next semester schedule isn't looking like too much. It's better than last semester. I only have um, class on Monday and Wednesday, one class on Thursday, and then we won't even be here on Friday, so. Yeah, we're gonna be. Yeah, I graduate next semester. So. She old. She I got one class. She old. I'm interning at a, at a daycare. She about to leave us. Right. Mm -mm. I got one class on Tuesday. How did you get to Kentucky and what did it take? You Long jumps. <laughs> fast times. Right, like. That's pretty much it. I mean, like a lot of hard work and dedication. Um, Cause really? like running in college has always been a goal for me. 
and to have my parents not pay for literally anything has just a been blessing. yeah a blessing and it's something that I've always prepared and worked towards so it's glad that it finally come true and yeah. Aww. How high must your grades remain to keep your scholarships without running into problems? It ain't even that hard. You just gotta keep your grade over a 2.0. You know, if you're making me mad because people, okay, wait, let me take that back. Certain schools, it's like harder at certain schools, but I feel like you should be able to manage she's a 2.0. She's she also came like, from Purdue. With Chloe. Yeah, see, so I'm so a chance harder there. And Purdue is hard, so like. No, but I did have over a 2.0. Like, it was hard, though. So, I could see, like, where you would struggle. But I honestly feel like it shouldn't be that hard to yeah, like, stay over a 2.0. Most schools 0, like, are passing, like, pass you with a, a 60. Yeah. In a so, like, mm -hmm. you literally just have to get, you you get, get a 2.1, 2.2, right. like, but, like, so a 1 point something. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> What's the main thing that you think contributed to your recruitment? I mean, like I said before, Kentucky wasn't my main school. Like, that wasn't the school that I was planning on going to in the fall. But, like, when I was looking at all my schools, it was a very family-oriented team. Um, a coach that's going to definitely make me run faster and better. And just being around great people. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> what she said. One of the questions said, um, it says, do you guys have walk-ons? Yeah, we have... It's a lot of walk-ons. There were more, but then, like, some of them kind of quit. Y'all, we were what just talking about it. Look who it is. Uh, uh, what is good? <laughs> we were just good? talking about. This is Robbie, y'all. We were the just talking about The walk-on Robbie, who is tough. Who else is he that? He just started track that? in Wait, March. Dizzy. Wait. Oh, man. March, him and his right? scooter. March. He just started hey, school Dewey. in March. Off-campus yes, living. These are, this is on-campus living. These yeah. are the dorms. Kentucky has some really nice dorms. They, they do. I wish we had these full, dorms. Full Why size. Wait, wait, yeah, these are cool. Yeah, full oh, size cool. beds and their tempered peating. And they got their own room. Own room mm -hmm. separated, you mm -hmm. know. And the common area, you just have to share the sink and then share. I mean, you know, it's two separate sinks and then you share the bathroom, and that's all you have to share. Is it hard to wake up early? Yes. yes. <laughs> it's yes. not that bad. It is yes. hard. I I'd hate rather up wake early. up for a 6.30 wait nope. rather than an 8.30 class. <laughs> nope. See them sprinters, long, I mean, long distance, mid distance, whatever. They wake up early, but the jumpers, we don't wake up early. We live yeah, right They're in lucky, but they, they lived after practice. Like, I yeah, wouldn't mind that. That's better. That, but, no, like, the way not. our workouts are set up, yes, it like, is. We so, cannot... you, so you want to wake up at 6? Yes, my legs be dude, tripping. Be not me. Not, for Negative. our workouts, we could not work, we could not do weights after. We would literally drop all the weight on our back. Because, like, we be running, running. Mm -mm. So. Oh, yeah. They, <laughs> yeah, so. They be half dead after practice. So, I, I see. <laughs> I feel where you're coming from. If, you, if you're already at a D1 college but want to transfer and get a scholarship at UK, what does it take to do that? Okay. So basically, I'm a transfer student, so I basically had to go through this. But, I mean, where I was, I was already on a scholarship, but I basically had to, like, jump far, do my part, <laughs> in order to even, like, transfer here. Because since Coach Green was the uh, head coach at Purdue, it was a lot easier for me to like, you know, just come here. Yeah. But then again, like, for y'all to do it, I mean, just do your part. Like, it says, who do you train with? I train with Chloe, uh, Faith, and like the boys in my training group. I train with this nut behind me. <laughs> who else? Beast bro. Oh, MJ. MJ is the GOAT, y'all. Shout out MJ. She's Mark my in. words. She's MJ a is the 2019 wedding. National uh triple jump champ. triple jump champion Ooh, i got tongue to yeah it. mark my words what, what's today's date the 11th december 11th december 11th okay competition no she just got named athlete of the week national athlete of the week and she's national athlete of the week i'm dead when <laughs> nationals is like i know indoors is what march and then outdoors is june so one of them be looking out for them. Mark my words. We're going to go back to December 11th. And, and we see gonna, that I we called gonna, it. We're going to put up the video. So, thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Instagram, zee.denise. Because I know she the, got a lot of views. I'm going to put it in the description below. Yes. 
And Follow if me. I didn't answer any of the questions that you guys wanted to hear, just comment them below and then I'll give you guys an answer. Um, but that's all we got for you today. I hope you enjoyed. And, and don't forget to slay your edges. <laughs>